Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make this kite shield. It's quick and easy. There's a couple simple tricks I'm gonna show you how to do that makes it really fast and fun. I'm also gonna demonstrate how to use straight edges with the iPad and the Apple Pencil. I'm also gonna show you which one of these works and which one doesn't and why. All right, let's get into it. Okay, for this we need to get rid of these and we're gonna add a box. Now for this, we want to turn the wire on so we can see what's going on. So we want to bring the topology way down to just one. So you have one line each direction. All right, so we can go ahead and validate that now. You can turn the wire off if you want. We don't need that anymore. And we're gonna to go to the gizmo and squeeze it down. Now click on the home button there. The wire you can leave that on if you want it doesn't really matter either way we're going to grab the select mask rectangle symmetry is on and we're going to grab the edges grab the gizmo now this is where we can adjust this and it's you can see how it adjusts very well with the masking simply because we have the topology way down if you were to do this with more topology it would do much different lines and changes so with the gizmo you can change this several different ways but i want to expand it both directions like this so we can make like the kite shield shape we're looking for all right now we'll go back to mask on the regular select mask and it doesn't matter but rectangle is the easiest one just drag on the outside it'll clear your mask for you okay so that's still not quite what we want right we want it rounder than this now this is going to round it off a lot, but when it does, we can trim it. So go up to topology menu. Now normally I have voxel remaster everything. In this case, I'm going to do multi-res and you'll see why in just a second. As you subdivide this, you'll see it turns into a round shape. All right, so we can call that good right there. And if we click on the gizmo, you can see now that we have a nice, perfectly rounded shape. And you can do a lot with this uh, this technique. You can do so many things. And I'll link to my video for doing the sheet metal. That's a big one you can do for this. All right, now we want square size on everything. So let's grab the trim tool. We're gonna leave it on symmetry. We're gonna use rectangle first. And just trim these off the sides. I'm gonna go to line. Now. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but the flip button down on the bottom here is really handy. So when you come in here, we can click on the front, just make sure we're on the front. We can turn wire off now too. This really can turn it off this time. Okay, so you see here, you'd have to flip all the way around to get this to where you want it. But if you don't want to do that, all you have to do is hit the flip button and now it trims off right where you want. Now, what you're gonna notice sometimes, and it depends on which one we use, when we go to use the um, the other trim tool here in a second, you'll see something that's, there's a little glitch going on right now. But you can see right in this area here on the point, I really want all of this to be roughly the same thickness, and hopefully you can see that. That's a little thinner at the point, just because of when we round this without using that multi-res topology changes things a little bit. So let's grab the trim tool again, and we'll just come up a little bit higher this time. And that should, yeah, that's pretty close. It's close enough for what we're doing. All right, let's go back to the front, trim tool again. And you know what, I'm gonna drag this up. Drag this trim tool up, up here, okay. Now for this, I'm gonna use the polygon tool instead and we'll just grab pull it across and you want to pull it way down it really just depends on what shape you're going for you're pull it down a little bit and we'll go here and if you do symmetry it'll even out the two of these two side points will roughly even themselves out now the interesting thing about the polygon trim tool now is if you trim come back and trim again, that same shape is gonna be there. You don't have to build that if you're trying to trim something several times. I'll demonstrate that in just a second. So let's hit the trim button and you see, had it backwards. So if we go back to gizmo and go back down here at the base, 
and we go back into trim, it's there again. Before that never happened, you always had to redo it. So it's kind of a nice thing that's there. So now we're gonna go back down and hit the flip a bit, flip again, and now it's gonna trim the correct direction. Okay, go to the gizmo, and it looks pretty good. Now what I was saying is every once in a while, and it depends if you have your paint material changed to a different color. So I'm gonna change this to a different color to show you what this weird glitch is right now. This just a quick side thing. So let's go back, go back to trim again, and click back to front, and put it right here. Now, since we have a color in the paint, even though we're not painting, we're only trimming, I'm gonna show you what happens sometimes, and it's a little, little strange. All right, go to the gizmo. You see here, you have a little bit of paint. It's just a weird thing that's going on right now. So just go back into paint whatever color you have chosen originally for your shield. And there you go. All right, it's all fixed. Now that's got a little bit of a weird thing at the top, but I think we'll just leave it. I'm okay with it. All right, now let's look at the wire. You see the sides of the wire are pretty, pretty messy. So let's fix that. And now we're gonna go to voxel remeshing, keep edges sharp. And we're gonna bring this up pretty high to begin with. You can see that looks pretty good already, but we need to go a little higher if we want to do, I want to put a stamp on here, a raised um, heraldic stamp. So if we do that, we need a lot more topology. This will still be a little pixelated. So let's come over here. And if your device can support it, I know not everyone's can, but if you can support it, you know, bring the topology up as high as you can go. So now we have good topology. So we'll turn that off. Now this is gonna help you in a couple different ways. First, when you do the masking, and second, when we do the stamp. All right, so now that we have this where we want, I'm gonna demonstrate something for you. We're gonna go into the masking option. We're gonna fix a couple things in here. So we're gonna to go to this menu here, go to the stroke menu. All right, so we're gonna leave it on dot. Now, this normally has a you know, the rope stabilizer is up a little bit. We're gonna bring the strokes moving up pretty high and the lazy rope, we can kind of leave where it's at. Now, if you are masking something and you want to be able to pull a line, stop, regroup, and pull again from another line, you can do the snap radius and that will help. What that does is as you pull a line, and you pull the next line, it will snap to the end of the last line you created. So if we turn this off, you can see, you would pull a line here. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can see it easier. Pull it here. Now if you wanna do another one, it's a little bit harder to get on the edge, but if we do the snap radius, it'll just, anywhere you, you grab on here, it will just snap on the last line you were on. So it makes it a little bit easier. So we'll put just a little bit on there. You don't need a ton, just a little bit. Let's bring the size down a little bit. Now, to do nice straight lines, you can do the lazy rope stabilizer, and that's probably a little excessive. And you can do this, that would be too much. Let's try here. And you can try and hold this on nice and straight, but I'm gonna show you a quick little trick. You can use a straight edge. Now the difference is this is an aluminum straight edge and if it worked with, if you had a metal straight edge, it'd be the same way. If we try to use this, I'll demonstrate what happens if we try to use a metal straight edge with an Apple pencil. So over here, we can pull an edge, right? No problem, pull a line. But if we try to pull a line right here, you see that nothing happens. That's because this is metal and it's touching this point. So maybe if you guys had ones, had the silicone tips that may work, but instead just use a plastic one and this is see-through anyway, so it makes it much easier to use. So let's turn this off and get it out of our way for a minute. And we will just do a couple lines on here. And this is just an easy trick to get nice, clean, straight lines. And at the top, we're just gonna turn the shield. We'll leave symmetry on. And it'll be a little bit tougher, but we can pull a fairly clean line. And you can always just tap back if you don't like it. And this may take a 
couple tries. Throw high. That's pretty good right there. Okay, now to clean these up, because you can see I've got some edges I want to clean up, we want to get rid of that lazy rope because it'll be in our way. Let's just bring this down. Bring the size down a little bit, turn it on, unmask, and let's get rid of the snap radius too. And that's why it does that weird little jump you saw it doing. And I'm not going to worry about making this absolutely perfect. Come down and just clean all these up real quick. And obviously with symmetry on, it makes your life a lot easier with the two of them. All right, now to easily raise this, we're going to go to Select Mask, click on the outside of the object, and it'll flip the mask for you. Go to Gizmo. I'm going to bring this out just a hair, and that looks pretty good. Now to change this, I want to go ahead and give this some paint color. So let's go ahead while we have it masked, and it's easy to, easy to do. Let's do some gold on there, paint all. And then we're going to go to select mask, flip the mask, and let's do like a silver, paint all. All right, so now we can go to the mask, we're still in it, and clear the mask. And now we have a nice painted shield with both colors, quick and easy. It's an easy way to do it if you already have the mask set up. All right, the last thing I want to do is put a stamp on here. So I'm going to come into the stroke menu, lock radius is fine. Alpha, I already have the stamp set in here. Biggest thing is you just want to make your, sure your scaling is inside the red circle. And you can invert if you need to, depending on what color you have on everything. Now the fall off, the biggest thing here is make sure that you have a fall off that's straight. If it's rounded at all, it's not going to pull your stamp correctly. And front facing vertex only. Now you can stamp it, or a lot of times what I would prefer to do is come into mask and you can do the, the, all the same thing just make sure it's front facing vertex we're going to use stamp and we'll come in here and you can see that I still have symmetry on so let's turn the symmetry off go to the front and you can see that it's going in because it's on the sub so I need to fix that Pull it out. Now I'm going to show you another thing since that is bringing it raised but it's not not coloring it for you. An easy way to do this is come down to the base. You're going to change this to red. Nice bright red and we'll give it a little bit of roughness. Now when you stamp it will paint it at the same time for you. All right, that's a super easy way to do this. It's using the multi-resolution instead of voxel remesh. It gives you an option for making nice round surfaces while you keeping your topology fairly low in the beginning. All right, I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks from this, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks.